Each year as we prepare for the ceremony, I find myself taking stock of the lessons learned on September 11, 2001. We found shared strength and unity in those moments of suffering. And in those moments, we also realized that we pass along to the next generation of Americans the lessons we endured. We must remember that our memories of September 11th are their history. What changed our generation has defined their generation. Remembering those we lost and drawing hope from how we continue on in their memories may be the greatest lesson that we can bestow on this next generation and future generations to come. When the cowardly, despicable actions of religious extremism took away these beautiful lives, what they were not able to take away from us was our resilience against hate, extremism, and bigotry. We lost individually and collectively. However, we emerged together as a nation with strength and dignity. I think continually of those who are truly great, who from the womb remembered the soul's history, the names of those who in their lives left the vivid air, signed with their honor. My trader community had celebrated a record-breaking year at Windows on the World Restaurant. One of the service when we were there became known as the Falling Man. The Falling Man's name was Deacon John E. Riley. I believe that I encountered him twice. The first time was at that celebration, and the second was as I stared with horror out of my office window on the 40th floor at the people who were jumping to their death after the planes hit. That horror landmarked a change in my life forever and I became a pastor partly as a result of that day. You think about the husbands and wives, the friends, people that didn't show up at the dinner table, you think of the randomness of it all. and It makes you think about the meaning of your life. If we're truly to honor the people that were killed that day, people that have sacrificed since that time, it's up to us to really elevate what really matters to us. We remember young people who lost parents and are now raising children. We remember rescuers and firefighters and medics who selflessly helped those in need and now suffer from diseases and maladies that we do not even fully understand. 